Hey guys, in this uh, talk, we'll be talking about Firebase.jl. So, uh, what's Firebase.jl and what functionalities does it provide? We'll be talking about that in this particular talk. And uh, yeah, it has been a recent development that there have been a lot of backend services that have been brought in to the Julia, and uh, yeah, the more are pouring in. But uh, there wasn't a there wasn't enough support for Firebase. So through this project. Uh, I intend to provide the support for Firebase in Julia. Uh, so Firebase.jl is, you know, the Firebase API wrapper for Julia. Moving on to the next slide. So we'll first talk a little bit about the history of the project, then the features that it provides and what we are looking forward to. So uh, Firebase is a platform developed by Google for creating uh, mobile and web applications mainly. And it was uh, originally an independent company, but now uh, after 2014, Google acquired the particular platform and it's now their flagship offering for app development. Firebase provides a uh, you know, wide range of functionalities like uh, real-time database, cloud firestore, cloud storage, cloud messaging, and all that. And a lot more to it now moving on to the why i particularly was interested in uh developing this uh package was because you know it might not be as popular as other backend services but it, it provides very rapidly usable functionalities so it's very quick to develop rapid prototypes in it and it's very easy to scale so yeah that's the whole why i had and uh the issue I noticed was the other backend services that were available in Julia weren't as you know easy to work with as compared to Firebase, which is commonly used in hackathons by students also. So yeah, that was that was my why behind uh, you know using Firebase. Firebase is uh, rather powerful and easy to scale. So yeah, so uh, we recently re uh, released version of point 0.1 for this uh, for firebase.jl and you can add uh, the package uh, into your julia installation uh, using uh, add firebase in the package mode so you can either add uh, by doing this or you can just do using package and package dot uh, add uh, and add uh, using uh, just typing out firebase so you can find the source code of this project at uh, the github repo mentioned below and uh, i'm it would be great to have some more contributors uh, people who can help me with security issues that are there you know to ensure uh, there is more security involved in it and to help me with the help me basically manage the project project better so we can slowly move uh, from a very low level API to a higher level uh, expressive querying style uh, API. So now uh, let's moving on to the major components that are there for uh, Firebase.jl. So right now there are four major components that are there in uh, Firebase.jl, which is real time database. Then we have cloud Firebase then uh, we have cloud authentication and then we have cloud storage uh, we, we are working toward getting uh, a more stable api it's a very low level api right now then we have uh, you know low level api then there are a couple of uh, stable uh, security issues that we need to resolve before we can say it's at a you know stable uh, it's a stable version examples for this uh, you know firebase.jl and its use cases can be found in the test and doc strings right now but uh, docs are also available on the you know the corresponding uh, github.io website it's available in the readme.md uh, of the project so what do you need to uh, work with the whole api you need a firebase admin sdk key which can be found on uh, firebase uh, dashboard and with this uh, you know services account sdk key you can pretty much access everything in the firebase account so uh, you need this uh, to work with the project so if you have multiple sdk keys uh, what you can do is you know there, uh, 
you need to initiate first you need to initialize uh, to access the you know firebase storage or whatever you are trying to access so you can import firebase or uh, uh, firebase.jl using using firebase then you can just uh, call the function dot init uh, either you can uh, add the file path to a specific sdk key or you can specify just to specify you know the curly braces which will mean that it will uh, look out for the firebase folder in that uh, current working directory and then whichever json files are that are there in it it will just uh, allow us to select which estimate ad, admin sdk key we want to use moving on to the next part we'll now we will be talking about the major components that we mentioned beforehand and uh, how well are they supported so real-time database is a cloud hosted database in which the data is stored as a json so the data is also synchronized in real time to every connected client that we have so uh, it's it was one of the earliest versions of database that uh, fire uh, firebase provided so real time database uh, is very well supported in firebase.jl the operations like uh, get post patch update download even are available uh, in firebase.jl which is based upon the firebase rest api so all the features that are available in firebase.jl are basically the wrappers around the firebase rest api right now and yeah we uh, slowly and steadily will move to a higher level api which uh, provides more uh, powerful querying uh, functionalities Moving on to the next part that we have is Cloud Fire Store, which is a flexible and as well as scalable non no SQL cloud database. It's very similar to, uh, not exactly too similar to real time, but yeah, but it's all it serves the same purpose to store and sync data for client and server side development. It's newer than real time database, and it's designed in a way that there are documents and there are collections. Uh, that's how they store uh, data in it and uh, the important features of cloud fire store are uh, it's very flexible exp uh, there is a expressive querying real-time updates and offline support that are available cloud fire store is also very uh, extensively supported in firebase.jl so we base almost cover all the functionalities that uh, firebase uh, uh, provides uh, but it's still a very low level uh, wrapper for rest api Moving into the next part that we have is uh, cloud authentication. Cloud, uh, so basically, authentication means can uh, if you are able to authenticate if the user is actually the person who is trying to say he is. So uh, Firebase authentication provides all server side stuff for you know authenticating the user and uh, Firebase uh, authentication also provides some user interface libraries which enable screen for us when we are logging it. It's also very well supported in Firebase.jl. Uh, we, we almost cover all the REST APIs that uh, Firebase has in the REST API part. Moving to the next part that we have is cloud storage. So, you know, sometimes you want to store text, photos, or videos in the, you know, in the cloud storage. So, cloud storage of Firebase is, serves that purpose and it's uh, built for application developers who need to store and serve user-generated content usually big files like uh, photos or videos mainly and it's also very easy easy to use with uh, firebase.jl you can use uh, you can use firebase.jl to get those files that are already available or you can send the files to cloud storage uh, of firebase using firebase.jl but you also but you do need to initialize the cloud storage url as of now yeah this is very important uh, right now the documentation is in uh, rather early stages so yeah don't forget to check out the docs links i have uh, a lot of examples there that you might want to, might be interested in then also don't forget to check out the tests they also provide a lot of examples on how to use firebase.jl so you know uh, we always have to look forward to something 
so in this project what we are looking forward to is that you know or the objectives that we are trying to achieve in the next phase of our development is uh, better support for the apis mainly so because uh, better support and um, increase uh, security in it and uh, then we also want to add new features that firebase provides so features like cloud messaging cloud hosting all those features we also want to include those uh, in firebase and also uh, slowly and steadily move toward a more stable AP, uh, wrapper and uh, something uh, that's a relatively higher level as compared to you know just the simple get, uh, get patch and all those those things yeah until next time uh yeah i hope you liked it and uh, looking forward to see some contributors or at least have a discussion on how to best design firebase.jl next Bye-bye.